Concerns are high tonight among members of the undocumented community. Agents from Homeland Security started auditing some employers looking for workers who are in the U.S. illegally. Action News reporter Gene Higginson joins us live from downtown Fresno, where we are learning about an Immigration and Customs Enforcement holding facility. Gene? That's right, Liz. You know, it started out as a brewery, and now most of this building behind me is a bank headquarters, but they also share the space with Immigration and Customs Enforcement. This is one of nine holding facilities in the western U.S. and Pacific region that process undocumented immigrants, possibly for deportation. There are no indications on the outside this building is a step closer to jail or deportation for the undocumented. The public isn't invited in. But immigration attorney Camille Cook has seen clients here. There's a waiting room, and then once you get in the back, there there's a hallway, and there's a little room where the attorneys can, um, you know, visit their their clients on the other side of a of a screen. You know, not unlike a, a jail. The building started out in 1999 as Butterfield's downtown brewery, but quickly went under and was taken over by the bank. Fresno police and then ICE moved in. Instead of bottles, there are holding cells, but nobody stays for long. ICE spokesman James Schwab told us this site is not, nor will it become, a detention center. Anyone arrested by ICE who's going to remain in the agency's custody for more than 12 hours will be transferred to a detention facility specifically equipped for that purpose. There are several of those detention centers around the state, but it's not always easy to find out where someone ends up when they leave here. Sometimes it can take days from the time they leave Fresno before we can figure out that they're in Adelanto or Arizona or wherever. Because since they're federal, they can take them anywhere in the country. It's kind of a black hole the undocumented can fall into, but Cook says most who end up here have been on the ICE radar for a long time for past crimes or because they've been deported and come back illegally. The current audit underway at packing houses and other businesses may not result in more detentions here. Because the employer has to has to post that, that ICE is going to show up at a certain day, people are just not showing up to work. She says the ICE audits are simply likely to push more undocumented underground. Well, most of them know that they don't want to have a conversation with ICE. Now, ICE points out this is not a secret facility. In fact, they've been using it for years. It's just little known. Reporting live from downtown Fresno, Gene Hagenson, ABC 30 Action News.